okay vlog this is like a pre-vlog um it's the night before it's 10 20 free it's 10 20 free um and i had an outfit planned and i wasn't that loving it and i couldn't think of a good idea and my brain only works like in last minute situations so i'd settled on it and i was a bit like mm, about it and then just as i was getting into bed i came up with a great idea for an outfit so now i've got a cool outfit i'm well excited I'm just like even more excited because I was a little bit like mm, I don't like my outfit but it's fine but now I like my outfit I'm like so excited um but you'll see that tomorrow so I'm gonna say good night I'm not gonna have long to sleep because I've got to get up at like 3 a.m um like half three three no three I should get up at three um yeah I'm gonna I'm watching this dinosaur games um, video and I'm gonna eat these little Oreo chunks that I have left. They're not called chunks, that makes them sound gross. They're yummy. Um, go to bed. So, see you tomorrow when we're going to Paris. She made it to Paris. She's here. What the fuck? I'm like 
like obsessed with those little pink houses. So pretty. It looks pretty from the other side as well. Right by the other tower. So pretty. Sparkling in the middle. Sir, you're not going to be sparkling yet.
look at the blue sky, I'm so happy it's come all like blue and that. She's been sitting on that bench, chilling by the Eiffel Tower, listening to this my cassette, having a great old time. Look, I'm just in Paris, how crazy is that? The sun was on me, so I was having a nice great time. Um, it's got a little bit chilly now because the sun's gone in. That's all right, because I just bought tickets to go to the Louvre. So that's where I'm going now. I've never been inside the Louvre, like in my life. So, well exciting. Just gonna leave the Eiffel Tower. It's actually the last time I'm gonna see the Eiffel Tower today because I'm fully leaving it now. So I don't think I'll be back. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> My plan is to go near the Eiffel Tower and then slowly like get further away and end up back at like near Paris Garden Old. Um, Cause that's where I need to get the rest of home. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave now, so that'd be cool. I've got half an hour to get there. Um, just bought my tickets. It kept on telling me that, that there wasn't tickets, and then every time I checked, it was like, there is tickets, and it was like, there's not tickets. And then I thought there really wasn't tickets, and then I went, let me just reload it again. And then it was like, no, there is tickets. And I was like, what is happening? But anyway, I'm loving the fit. Uh, but it's better about the jacket, obviously. But it is winter still. Look at the Eiffel Tower. Birthday prezi to myself. 23. Down. 23rd birthday. Celebrating Paris. So. Back onto the RER. Um, tickets that you get are the same for the Metro and the RER. So that's quite good. Um, just so you know, and what I like to do is I have a little front pocket on my tickets. So I get one out, use it, and then you put it in like a different pocket. Like I'm putting it in my back pocket of my jeans because you need that same ticket to get back out but there's like no difference in really between the tickets. So that's a good little hack. Well, what's happened to this? There you go. Jesus. I think I've left it in the there. I'm going to do a quick walk from Notre Dame all the way to the loop. I'm going to have to do a little speedy walk. I love the double jacket trucks, like it's crazy to me. Maybe you should guess we'll just part here, so let me show you like properly without like me filming people, you know. Look, they're so crazy. They're so crazy. That one lot of seats? Two lot of seats, only all the chimneys like stairs down and stairs up by the door. They're like proper blows my mind. It's a bit crazy. Look at the blue sky. So looking out here, there's the river. So I think I was just up there from that way. <laughs> she had to cross the road to come in, to go under. Oh, look at my finger, and it's really weird. It looks like an old lady finger. <laughs> to come back. And now I'm back by the river. I've gone underneath the main road. Don't see the rain. Ah, love summer. Memories that remain. 
I love that this little like art stands here. They better be open when I come back. I'm gonna have to walk back this way. I understand why they're doing walks around the same now. It's pretty sick. I love getting like little art pieces. I'm gonna go to the Louvre, look at art pieces. They're gonna hopefully walk back here and buy some art pieces. <laughs> and have some walks along the same, dancing in the rain. Oh, last summer, memories that remain. Oh, yes. Look at this boat. How epic is that? And that one. The well, on the day I'm doing a day trip in Paris and I'm literally walking around the day, not a good day to stack it. bend my ankle in half. Why well, do you stack it all the time on my ankle? I've got really weak ankles, oh my god. There's little ducks in there. That's sick. Little ducks. This is definitely like someone's home though. Imagine living here. How like homey is this place? So pretty. No, I just should probably stack it though. Like two points of my foot that like should not touch touched. And I was like, he was like going pretty really deep in the pavement. My whole foot went down it. There's a guy over here playing an accordion. How sick. <laughs> I'm starting to get misses now because that's the most walking I've done. Is that walk? Um, and let me just be doing my whispers. I'm recording on my little camcorder. Is that too much for the maps? Maybe. I feel like it's going to be around this spend because that's where everyone's going. Let's go.
understand the silly shops. I'm so confused. I was just trying to get out of the museum and now I'm going into pre-loved shop in the house I live? No idea. Still in the museum, no idea. Went to a crystal shop. All those shops were well pricey. Like the second hand ones, like between 40 and 100 quid on average. Um, and if I saw something that I'd like, so I'd actually like consider buying it because I'm here for my birthday. So, they're quite cool. But there was nothing that like piqued my interest. I honestly don't know where I'm going. I really hope this takes me outside. It's getting colder. It's getting colder. I see doors. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, yay. That place was honestly like a bloody maze. I have no idea where I'm coming out of it. Okay. Come out of the way. <laughs> sitting here watching back all the videos I just took all oh, this stuff to decide oh I like that mm, that's an end up to decide what I want to go back and buy <laughs> we've got to debate it like away from the store otherwise I can't think I always have to take pictures and walk away from something so I know if I want it or not I'm just sitting here <laughs> done my little bit of shopping I got everything I wanted one of the posters I wanted to buy was like not out there anymore and I was like well mummy's put it away and then I like walked back and forth like past this store for ages trying to like work myself up on whether I should like go asking for it if I wanted it that bad or not and then I decided in the end I did want it that bad after I decided no that's too embarrassing I don't want to like be rude and like upset so I won't and then I thought no I do want it that bad so then I went back and I asked him and then bless me, I had to look through like all of this stuff and I felt really bad and he was like, oh, I don't know where it is and I was like, oh, I'm sorry and then he was like, no, and, he's like, and I thought he was going to stop and then he like, was like, oh wait, he was like and then he walked over the, to the other bit and then he was like, found it and then it was six euros 
I thought it was 16, it was only six. I was like, thank God I asked. And then I was like, gave him 10 euros and I was like, keep the change for the trouble. And he was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, yeah, because I made you like go through all your stuff. And he was like, no, no, no. And then I was like, oh, are you sure? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, what's a nice man? And then the other one, it was like an oil painting. When I was buying that one, the guy was like, I made a banner with this guy. We were having a great time, a great old chat. Um, and, um, yeah, I was like, did you paint it? And he was like, no. And he's like, I only do the watercolor ones over there. And I was like, oh. He was like, no, I bought it from an art student. And I was like, that was so cool. So I've just got some random art students picture now and it's gonna go on my wall. How random is that? I love it. It's so cool. Um, I'm gonna go to the Notre Dame because I've never seen that before, so I wanna do that now. And then go in any other shops I see that I fancy. And then hopefully grab some dinner and then get the Eurostar home. It's got to that point in the day when like Eurostar came up on my phone like your next train is today at nine. And I was like, that's sad, I don't wanna leave. <laughs> crazy there was like no photo and video signs everywhere um and there was like people telling people like not to take photos and videos so i didn't um but that was literally insane they had like typewriters they're like there's a little nook you could just sit and read in they had like beds that people were just like sitting on reading 
it was literally insane. It was like a maze as well. Like I thought it was tiny and then I just turned a corner and it just kept on going. And there's an upstairs where none of the books are for sale but you can just read them. That is literally insane. You could spend hours in there. That's crazy. Go in there if you're ever near the Notre Dame. That was sick. That was so cool. Like, oh, it looks better in my eyes. Your life like, looks so much like pinker. I was about to say, look how pink Notre Dame looks. This is the sunset, but it looks orange. But it looks like pinky orange in real life. But it's still pretty. So cool. So cool. <laughs> stayed there like all night and just got really pissed um i'm already a bit buzzing just off of that one cocktail i always think like drinks in paris are like strong they're good they're so good um but like a cocktail like sex on the beach will get me though i'm a bit buzzed but now that like, I've got, the air has hit me i've calmed down but you know when you're drinking it really quickly and then you're like Whew, i'm feeling it um that's how i feel right now i'm just now walking in the street because i was that bit <laughs> through the street in paris um, there's significant delays on the Aria, so I think I'm getting the metro. But I'm on my way back to the Paris Garden Lord for the Notre Dame. I've never seen the Notre Dame with my boys. How crazy. How crazy. No, that place was such a vibe. And like, I'm so gonna go back there, and then next time I can go and I'll be staying the night. And hopefully, I'll get a hotel near here. I've already got a plan for my next trip. Get a hotel near here, go there, have a meal get proper piss listen to the live music then go down the road when the jazz club opens um, and then go get pissed at the jazz club and then go back to your hotel what a good idea that sounds like so pretty much sorted out my next trip and i ain't even gone home from this one yet this has literally been like 
the best day, like ever. I'm so happy. This has been such a good birthday celebration thing. My birthday's on Friday. My birthday's in two days. But this has been like one of the best birthdays ever. And my first ever solo traveling trip. I'm so proud of myself. My outfit looks good. Everything just came together. I'm actually not sure where the subway is. I'm just walking until I find the metro. I'm pretty sure I'll probably walk past it. But I feel like I can't stand still and vlog. It feels muggy as hell. So I might just have to do a little loop around in a minute. But it's fine, I've got like an hour, over an hour, till my era stuff. So, you know, I'm really hoping I can find like an English bug socket. I forgot to bring my um, <laughs> adapter. Because I didn't think I'd need it, but my portable charger has died and my phone's on 20%. So, but look, a metro station. So luckily I had a spare um, metro ticket so I just put that in to get back out of where I just I just ended up walking through to get onto like another set of platforms and I was like this is not the way out of the metro this is just the way to like a train station that isn't where the Eurostar is and then the security guard was like you're right in French I'm assuming that's what he's like <laughs> I'm paraphrasing and then I was like I need to get to the Eurostar please and he was like through these gates and then he was like that way that way and I was like okay and I was like I went the wrong way before I get on I kind of want to buy a bottle of water I've got an hour so I might have a little look at what they what they got they've got like calves in that I don't want a calf I want like a, a supermarket I want a France Bricks, whatever it's called. One of them. Mm, let me go hunt. Um, now that I'm just like chilling, looking around, going back to the um, <laughs> the pub, I reckon the, um, what do you call it? The restaurant. I reckon if I'd got there like an hour earlier, I would have like had another drink. And then I would be like very tipsy right now. So I was like a bit sad that he was like, he took my cup and he went, and I went, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, okay. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I wish I could have another one. It was so nice, and it came with a sparkler. And then I was like, no, I probably shouldn't because then I'll be tipsy trying to get the Eurostar home, and I don't. I've never done it from this train station, so probably not a good idea. Um, but if I got there an hour earlier, I definitely would have been like, yes, another one. And then I would be walking around tipsy. I mean, I already went into the wrong place. And I only had one cocktail, so two would not be a good idea, I don't think. Anyway, I found a relay, so I'm gonna get a bottle of water from there. Relay, slay. I just did a whole interaction in French. Jesus. I just did a whole interaction in French, and only because I just went, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. On <laughs> Just copied what he said when he was like a greeting or a goodbye and all the other times I just went mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. do you know in that scene in Modern Family when Mitchell gets a scarf where he's like trying to like speak French people and people are like McDonald's is that way American and then he gets a scarf and then they're like talking to him in French and he's like oh my god where's his power so then he was just like if you just don't say anything like you just like pretend you just don't speak any French you just do like mm-hmm mm-hmm no <laughs> and that is exactly what I just did and I feel like that was such a mutual for modern family moment but yeah my giant bottle of water now I'm good getting on that Euro star also sad I'm going home um 
But this bit before you go to the grocery store has like USB slots. So you can charge my phone down here. But I also just kind of want to get up there. So I might just get up there and just hope that <laughs> they got USBs or they've got like English plugs. Because I'm going to the depart to the UK. He's got a blooming Union Jack there. So, you know, I'm assuming they might have English plugs or something, please. back in London St Pancras I've liked all the people I've sat next to the Eurostar because that was a little bit of a concern of mine I was like well if you were like do you know what I thought my worst fear would be I was sitting at a table and on the way there I was sat at a table and I was doing my makeup and I was putting in my contacts but nothing I said but I was sat with like two girls and a guy and they were actually like really nice and they were like young so I liked them and then on the way back I was sat next to this guy and he was so chill. He kept on like apologising when he didn't need to. Like when his jacket went on my seat, and I was like, "It's fine. I literally don't care." But yeah, he was really nice as well. And he was editing like some like photos or something like from a runway. I was like, "Oh my god, was he a Paris Fashion Week?" Because that ended like yesterday. I was like, "That's so cool." I always ask him about it, but I didn't want to ask him about it because I was like, mm. "I'm asking him about it." But I wish I should have. I wish I. Sh yeah, I wish I did, because then I could have been like, I wanted to know if he like worked for a magazine or something. Like, where could I see his photos once he's done editing them? Because he was adding it on the train next to me. I was like, that's so cool. Um, but I didn't ask. So I'll never know. But yeah. I'm going to get home now. Ah, I'm going this way. It's like, what is A platform? There is platform A. <laughs> that's where I'm going. That was such a good day. That was actually so great. That was such a good day. What a good little birthday slash first solo traveling moment. That was for me. I loved it. It was great. Could I take you on this journey? Everything like panned out. I was so happy with how the whole day went. And yeah, just such a good time. But yeah, that's the whole vlog. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Like, subscribe, you know, all that kind of ship and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> what was that bye